गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर चंद्रशेखर साखले असोसिएट प्रोफेसर मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी लर्न फायनाइट एलिमेंट मेथड इन विच वी वील लर्न दिल नाव वी हॅव लर्न द अप्लिकेशन ऑफ ए पी एम वॉट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ए पी एम वॉट आर द अप्लिकेशन वॉट आर द डेफिनेशन वॉट आर द ॲडव्हान्टेजेस अँड वॉट आर द डिसएडव्हान्टेज नाव वी वील लर्न द शेप फंक्शन वॉट इज द शेप फंक्शन इज इंटर इज इज यूज टू इंटरपोलेट द element so now the interpolation for this let us see the natural or intrinsic order system let us consider one element who is having a length l so this is the this is the element having a length e this element having length e having a two nodes 1 and 2 1 and 2 this is the datum line suppose this is the datum line from this datum reference line the this distance from 1 to 1 is x1 and distance for x2 is uh, node 2 is x2 whereas the any point p is on between the 1 and 2 is at a distance of x minus here at a distance of x where it is this distance from lane 1 is 1 minus x1 let us consider it as this is the global coordinates but in a natural coordinates suppose let us see this is as a zeta this is this is node 1 and this is node 2 here the value of zeta is 1 minus 1 here the values consider this value of the value of zeta is minus 1 and here zeta value of zeta is plus 1 where the zeta is varies from minus 1 to plus 1 in between the it is the value at the center the value of zeta is 0 means it is having a length of this element is 2 units suppose the here to from here to from center to this distance is zeta then this is the zeta plus 4 the distance from the one is the one element to p in node p is z plus 1 so consider a element having a number local node 1 and 2 the first node one would be at a distance of x1 second node one be at a distance of x2 from the diff reference a convenient coordinate system is called a natural coordinate system is defined it is as it helps in a formulating individual element matrix which can be then used to combine and form a global stiffness matrix in natural coordinate system the center of element is considered zero and node 1 and node 2 are placed at a distance of minus 1 to plus 1 respectively the variable of the measurement of the dis, uh, of the distance in this case as represented as zeta I already i have discussed it is zeta from minus 1 to plus 1 Thus, at node one, the corresponding value of zeta is minus one, and at node two, it is plus one. The total length of the element does two units, and this length of the element is covered in the range of zeta minus one to plus one. To establish the relationship between the two coordinate system, consider the point P situated at a distance x in a global coordinate system and corresponding at a distance of zeta from the origin as shown in the figure. Here we have this is the figure. Now it is. comparing this figure now the length of the element in the natural coordinate system upon length of the element in global coordinate system where in the length of the element in natural coordinate system and distance from point p from the nodal in the global points so here the total distance is length of the whole element is 2 and the total distance at the distance of p kitna hai what is the distance how much distance is this is x minus x1 so this is this this distance is x minus where the distance at the distance at p is this is this distance is from the in this coordinate the distance is z plus 1 and x minus x1 so from this the value of zeta is 2 x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 minus 1 now confirm this validity of this equation now substitute we know that the at this x is equal to x1 and x2 at x2 is at node 2 it is x is equal to x2 now substituting this value in this equation now substituting this value in this equation you will get the the value is from here the value is minus 1 and the value is plus 1 so it is satisfying this equation zeta is the value of zeta value of zeta here it's minus 1 at node 1 is minus 1 and here it is it is minus 1 and it is here it is minus 1 and it is plus 1 so now the shape function in the natural coordinate system the natural coordinate system can be used to define a shape function 
This makes it convenient to isolate the element from the continuum and uh, development the necessary element stiffness matrix. The shape function is defined earlier is used to interpolate the deflection of the degree of the freedom within the element. Means if you want to find the displacement within this element, you have to use the shape function. The accuracy of the calculation would be increased with the increase in the number of elements. Consider a linear distribution is represented in this figure. The linear distribution here the add node 1 the displacement q1 and the add node displacement add node 2 the displacement is q2. So linear displacement is u. So the shape function n1 and n2 in a natural coordinate system coordinate term can be developed by considering this these two equations. The here the shape function here the value of zeta is minus 1 and here the uh, add node 2 it is plus 1. Means at node 1 the value is 1 and node 2 it is 0. N1 is 1 and node 2 is 0. And also for add for node 2 the value of shape function zeta is equal to plus 1 and N1 is 0. So how it comes the N1 is 1 minus zeta plus upon 2 and N2 is 1 plus zeta. This is the slope of the line. This is the straight line. Now the what is the slope? The, you, you know the line equation of line is y is equal to mx plus lee. The slope is minus half. And at the n1, the slope n1 is, is equal to 1 and zeta is equal to minus 1. Now we here the slope is 1 minus 1 by 2 is the slope zeta. And the y-intercept is c. The n1 is n1 is 1. So we have determined the value of c, substituting this value. So from this you will get the equation of 1 minus zeta by 2. Similarly, for at node 2, n2 is equal to 0 and 1 by 2 is 2. If you substitute the value, you will get the equation 1 plus zeta by 2. Here, n2 is equal to n at n2, the value is <coughs> 0, the slope is <coughs> minus 1, <coughs> 1 by 2. From this, if you calculate the um, y intercept and substitute this value, you will get the equation of n2, 1 plus 2 by 1 by zeta by 2. Now, once the shape function are defined, the linear displacement field within the element can be written in the terms of nodal displacement q1 and q2. So, total displacement u is, is equal to n1 q1, n1 q1 plus n2 q2. So, in nutshell, in a, in a matrix form, n1, n is the n1, n2 and q1, q2, where n1, n2 are the shape function and q1, q2 are the nodal displacement vector. So, at node 1, the value of zeta is minus 1. So, if you substitute the in the n value of zeta here, in the shape function, it is comes up to 1 and n2, it is 0. So, displacement at node 1 will be n1, q1 plus n2, q2. So, here n1 is 1, q1 is and n2 is 0. So, it is comes out to be q1, u is equal to k1. At, displace, at node 1, displacement is q1. Similarly, it is verified at node 2, the value of zeta is 1, you have to substitute in this equation n1 is equal to, zeta is equal to 1. So, it comes out to be it is n1 is equal to 0, 0 and n2 is equal to 1. So, at n, substitute again in the equation of u, n2, q2, n1, q1. Here, the u is equal to q2. At displace node, displacement in u is q2. So, this is equation is verified. So, thus it can be seen that as per the equation, the displacement at node 1 and at 1 and 2, q1 and q2 are which q2, which are the expected results are, we know the equation of zeta is x minus x1, x2 minus x1 minus 1. So, if you solve this equation, you substitute this value, you will from this and from this, you have, if you rearrange this equation and find the value of x here, from here, if you find rearrange this equation and find the value of x and rearrange the equation. Now, this rearrange, if rearrange this, this value is n1 and this value is, sorry, this value is n1, n1 x. This is, this is n1, this is n1 and this is n2. So, it's, if you are rearrange the n1 is x1, n2, x2 and you can also write u is equal to n1, q1, q1, n1, q1, n2, q2. The comparing this, it can be seen that the, both the displacement u and the coordinate x can be interpolated within the element using the shape, same shape function n1, n2. This is referred as a inter, uh, it, it is referred as a isoparametric formulation. 
similarly we can derive the equation for the shape function for the stiffness matrix for the one dimensional fe now you know the uh, derivation of the strain strain matrix strain is given by du strain is given by strain is given by uh, du by dx is equal to du by d zeta d zeta by dx which is a function of zeta where u is equal to n1 q1 n2 q2 or n1 u1 n2 u2 now the u is equal to substitute the value of n1 that is 1 minus zeta by 2 and n2 is 1 plus zeta by 2 so so now this is the equation of u now the if you now the n1 u equation at now differentiating with respect to zeta you will get minus u2 plus u2 by 2 also we know the equation of zeta is this 2 upon x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 x1 if you take differentiate with respect to x you will get the 2 upon x2 minus x1 now substituting these values are del u by d zeta and del zeta by del x in this equation of strain you will get this relation now this x if you re rearrange this equation so this rearrange u minus u2 x2 minus x1 so if you in the if you rearrange in the form of matrix so this this is x2 by x1 is nothing but the length of the element minus 1 1 u1 in the third displacement later now this matrix this this term is known as b matrix and this b matrix is known as the strain displacement matrix or u and u is known as a nodal displacement matrix and if you multi as per the hooks law if you have multiplied with a strain as you know the stress is proportional to strain and if you multiply modulus of elasticity with the strain you will get the stress so this is the ultimate e by l minus 1 1 u 1 u 2 this is the uh, derivative equation of stress matrix now the derivation of stiffness matrix now the energy per unit volume raise half into stress into strain volume now the u half 1 by 2 stress transpose into e into a into adx where dv is the volume let us consider x is the length of the element x a is the area this is the element having area a and the length of the element is dx now the strain is given by you know, the stress is given by e into b into u and stress into b in the previous we have learned this in the previous derivation now substitute this matrix into stress so eb into bu transpose plus b into u into a into dx so rearranging this term you have taking taking 1 by 2a common and it is over the length of u 0 to l u transpose b transpose e into b into u so again rearranging now d u up to the dx now x the equation of x dx is known so x dx is known what is the equation of dx the from here you can value dx is what is dx dx is equal to 2 upon x2 minus x1 into dz this is the equation of dx if you integrate over the entire integrate over the uh, over the ln you will get the value is l now again rearranging these terms and substituting the value of b transpose and b here again rearrange the term in the terms of matrix if you and if you arrange this matrix in this way the strain matrix is so this is u half into u transpose into k into u where k is the known as stiffness matrix so a e by l 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 this is the stiffness matrix for the one dimensional element similarly the elementary stiffness matrix for the uh, force matrix is given by a e l e f f by, by 2 1 by 1 by 1 and for the elementary tra traction force matrix is t is given by t into l e by 2 1 1 1 so this is about the derivation of uh, a shape function uh, b matrix and the stiffness matrix so thank you mm -hmm.